welcome to the National Bicycle Greenway's Mountain Mover Podcast Series. Here you will get up close and personal with people who are taking giant steps for the betterment of cyclists and for the planet itself. After seven esteemed engineers here in Palo Alto discussed ways we can make the bicycle better, Bob Schneeweiss, an engineer who makes microscopes and testing equipment for some of the departments and their professors at Stanford, mesmerized all those present for the next few hours as he talked about everything from Buskell 2.0 to the spider lakes he studies. Here's how he sees the problems the wheel has brought to the very survival of mankind. Put up quite a bit okay. Of, a lot of thought into trying to figure out what what is really going to get us in a what has got us into our biggest problems we've got of our pollution, the uh, crowding, and all that. And I think it's the, the wheel. Because if you have a wheel, you need a road. Mm -hmm. And if you have a road... You can go places. You can go places, but everybody lives on the sides of the road. Mm -hmm. Where you have two roads cross, you have a clot the humanity we call cities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we wind up with an unequal distribution of people on the land. We live close to the roads. And when humans live too close together, we get on each other's nerves. Oh, yeah. Uh, we foul our own nest. Uh, it's just come from having localized overpopulation. And the wheel forces us into the roads, which forces us into not using most of our land. And if you look in nature, if Darwin had anything going for him... Because the animals uh, use all the land. Right, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Not, it wasn't going there, mm -hmm. but that's true. Mm -hmm. Where if evolution, if something is not good, it will not reproduce. Uh, and you don't see anything with wheels on in nature. We've got everything <laughs> in the world wow. with wheels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that tells me there's, there's a problem here with it. Uh, and if you believe in creation... Well, God just doesn't build junk. And God could have put wheels on anything he wanted to. But God chose not to use wheels. So there's a definite problem with wheels from either evolution or creation. So, well, putting this forward, say if we continue down the path we are, and if we're unlucky enough to get another war president, uh, oilman, and we continue on this path, and we continue pissing off people bad enough where they're willing to harm themselves to harm us, and we start having the terrorist activity following us in this country. We're probably going to have to move out of our cities. Our cities will be made unlivable. Wow. And if we don't have the oil resources because the people we pissed off are the ones we get the oil from, we will not have the energy to build new roads to new places because the current cities... There might be some <clears throat> unusual nuclear or chemical accident, you know, happen in our cities. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of chemicals that can make cities unlivable. Oh, definitely. And, there and there's a lot of people who would just love to have that happen to us. So we're going to have to move someplace else, and we don't have the energy to build the roads. Now we're stuck walking. We don't have any transportation system. But if we have walking machines, we don't need the roads. We can spread out uniformly across the planet, and we can make wonderful, say a, <clears throat> take a human being, build, build me up big, where if good. I move, I could reach for a building demolition. Mm -hmm. oh, I want that piece of wood. Yeah pull out a long piece of wood. If you got concrete demolition on a big building, crunch. Pull the rebar out of the concrete. Uh, if you want to dig the new hole, on a dump truck, on a dump truck, on a dump truck. If you want to do work, put in a wind tower. <coughs> on your back, and away you go. And you get on site, and you got yourself a construction machine. Uh, 
when you're trying to live off the land, maybe you don't need to cut down a whole tree. Maybe you just need a limb up there. Reach in, end of the hand, put the saw on, and a gripper. Put it on your back, and you can take that tree home, do what you want. Uh, doing kerosene, uh, get up on the side of a hillside, you got to get your food there somehow. You know, kind of level hand, just like with your hands, like you're leveling mm -hmm. things. Uh, you just get a great big robot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big, big robot. That's all right. what this whole thing is, yeah, yeah. yeah. These are all robots that do yeah. all this, yeah. And it's, it's I understand possible. that. That walking machine was the first step. That wraps up another edition of the National Bicycle Greenway's Mountain Movers podcast series. We hope you enjoyed it. This has been NBG director and Awake Again author Martin Krieg. For more info about the NBG, go to nationalbicyclegreenway.com. To access this podcast in the future and to hear other shakers and movers that we've interviewed, go to bikeroute.com. 